It seems as though in the last few years, the line between enterprise and consumer networking gear has become increasingly blurred. I said that is a good thing. Gone are the days of low power hardware and painfully limited software. Today, you can find reputable brands with lines of networking gear catered not only towards enterprise and home lab users, but for just regular people who want to get the most out of their networking hardware. We're going to be taking a look at TP-Link Omada's lineup and what I'm specifically calling the short stack. This is what I would consider the perfect jumping off point to upgrade your home network into something modern, fast, and with all the bells and whistles you should ever need. So what is Omada? Well, it's a line from TP-Link that is considered a business solution, but like we said, it's not only catered towards business users. Now, yes, it has awesome business features like being easily scalable, and having site-to-site -site VPN management so that you can deploy this at all your different locations and it essentially acts as one network. So yeah, cool business features, but how does that help you, the regular home lab user? Well, one cool thing about the Omada lineup is that you can easily buy these products. Now, I know that sounds weird, like you can buy everything on Amazon these days, but if you look at a lot of other business level or enterprise level networking equipment, you have to essentially jump through hoops just to get prices and quotes and be able to purchase these. So with Omada, you don't have to go through any third party or any vendors or anything. You can just hop on Amazon or whatever store you want and purchase these products, which is very underrated when it comes to certain products in this field. That brings me to my next point in that this equipment is extremely affordable. Like compared to other business level equipment, yeah, you're not gonna find much with as many features as this for a lower price. So let's walk through the parts. I'll discuss what I have here and why I would consider it the perfect jumping off point into something like Omada. Let's start with the controller. And I know that might be a strange term for you to hear when talking about a networking stack, used to things like switches, routers, firewalls, access points, but here we have a controller, and this is something you may or may not need. Now, you do need to run the Omada controller software. Whether you want that to run on Omada's dedicated controller here, or if you want to run that on your own hardware or even virtualize it, both those options are legitimate. So if you want to just plug and play and have the Omada controller set everything up, be able to have all the features out of the Omada network, then get yourself an OC200. It is $100. I'm a fan of dedicated hardware for networking equipment, so this is what I run. Now, essentially all this is gonna do is run the controller software and essentially allow you to access features remotely. So this will be connected to the internet, giving you remote features. So obviously you need it, but you don't necessarily need this piece of hardware. Next, let's talk about the router or the firewall. This is the ER605 and yeah, it is $60. So yeah, pretty freaking affordable. And you do get all the modern security features that you would expect out of a modern firewall. You also get five ports, one being a dedicated WAN port, four LAN ports. Two of those can be switched between WAN or LAN. So in total, three WANs, which is awesome. Imagine paying $60 for a router that can handle three WANs with load balancing. That is, that is awesome. You also get plenty of VPN options with this, like OpenVPN, IPsec, L2TP, and PPTP. So whatever type of VPN you want to run, you should be good to go. You also get those expected features out of a sophisticated network setup, like VLANs, load balancing, bandwidth control, and like I said, multiple WANs. So yeah, for $60, having this be your firewall, well worth 60 bucks, I challenge you to find a feature set in any router or firewall better than this for around $60, good luck. Okay, next, let's talk about the switch. This is the TLSG208P and it is an eight port switch. It is all gigabit, but four of those ports or or. Four of these ports are PoE+, giving you a total of 
62 watts of power, which is extremely convenient to have, especially when a lot of access points and other networking equipment like cameras are being powered by PoE these days. It is good to have at least a couple of PoE part ports. Why can't I say that? A couple of PoE ports in your network. And through this switch, you get 16 gigabits per second of switching capacity, which is bonkers. And obviously you get to manage all your VLANs and features coming from your router. So yeah, how much do you think this would cost? If you guessed $88, you probably looked it up. So congrats for cheating, but yeah, $88. As you can tell, our price point is extremely aggressive here. So I'm not seeing a downside of this yet. Yeah, nothing's perfect. So let's jump into the access point. This is the EAP670. It is a Wi-Fi 6 access point with a full 160 megahertz channel. So you are getting the most out of Wi-Fi 6 with this. Obviously not Wi-Fi 6E, but I mean, nothing uses Wi-Fi 6E right now. So eh. On the five gigahertz channel, you get 4,800 megabits per second throughput, which holy crap, that's a lot. And on the 2.4 gigahertz channel, you're only getting 574 megabits throughput, but nothing really uses 2.4 that much anymore besides older devices and IoT stuff. So personally, I don't care to have a crazy amount of bandwidth on 2.4, but you know, those are stats, take them for what they are. One cool thing I really like about this access point, not only is it powered by PoE, but the port is 2.5 gigabit. Now immediately you're probably thinking, cool, 2.5, but the switch you just showed me is only one gigabit. We'll get to that. But along with the features I mentioned earlier, you do get a lot of modern creature comforts with the Wi-Fi configurations in Omada, like Omada mesh, band steering, load balancing, rate limiting, and wireless scheduling. So, so there's not really much you're gonna be longing for in terms of features if you go with an Omada Wi-Fi setup, that's for sure. And this comes in at $150, which I think is more in line with their competitors. So total for all of this, which gives you a pretty awesome jumping in point for the Omada setup is just under $400. And that's honestly not too bad. It could be less if you decide to virtualize or run the Omada software on your own hardware. You could do it for just under $300 without the controller. So yeah, what would a similar setup from Unify cost? Obviously the products aren't gonna match up one-to-one, -one, but I went to the Unify store and spec'd out a setup that would give you similar specifications as this entire stack. And that came out to $637. So yeah, under 400 versus 637, you can see that we are clearly getting a benefit in terms of price with the Omada lineup. So pros and cons to going with this setup or Omada in general, let's talk about it. Pros for something like this, as you can tell, the physical footprint for this is extremely small. So it is a godsend to home labbers with minimal space or people that wanna just chuck this in a closet somewhere and don't have a full rack to set up rack mounted gear. Yeah, this is assuming you're gonna not put your access point on your desk. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty small footprint here. Like you gotta be able to find space for this. Along with that, the access points in the Omada lineup are extremely fast and have a rich feature set. So they have this one that I mentioned before. I also have this guy that I've used, which is the HD 6600, 60 EAP HD 660. But again, both are Wi-Fi 6. Both have very high throughputs and both have 2.5 gigabit uplink, which can't be overlooked, especially if you want to future-proof your Wi-Fi setup. Another pro is that you are getting an extremely rich feature set with the entire Omada lineup. So like I said, it's catered towards businesses and enterprises. So you do get those enterprise features, but those things are, you know, things that we want as power users or home lab users. So having a lot of those features built into your now home network is something that can't really be understated. I know some of you don't care about 
multiple WANs or VLANs or site-to-site -site VPNs or VPNs in general, but a lot of people do these days. So having that built in is extremely nice to have. Another pro is that, like I said, you can host your own controller software. You don't have to buy Omada's dedicated hardware. You can host it on whatever system you want, but just know that you need the controller software. So whether you host it yourself or get the dedicated hardware, it's up to you. The last pro I wanna talk about is stability. And this is extremely important to me when it comes to my networking setups. Every single Omada setup that I've deployed in the last couple of years has been extremely stable through adding new hardware or through upgrades. And I can't say the same about my recent Unify setup. And if you don't know or you haven't seen my videos, I just deployed a bunch of Unify hardware in my home network. And so far it's been pretty good, but the one downside is that the stability of it hasn't been the greatest from initially uh, trying to adopt products to upgrades, kind of taking things offline hasn't been the best yet. So that's definitely a point for the Omada setup in that regards, but Omada is not perfect. Well, let's talk about the cons here. Back to the access points. Now, while it was a pro that these mostly have 2.5 gigabit uplinks on them, you'd be hard pressed to find a 2.5 gig compatible switch in the entire Omada stack. Now, Recently, I just saw that they released an eight port 2.5 gigabit PoE switch, but I can't buy it anywhere. Uh, I guess it's not readily available in the United States yet, but yeah, I really wish that Omada would introduce some more 2.5 or 10 gig switches into their lineup. I think that's where they're kind of falling short. For the entry level into a more sophisticated home network, I think they nailed it, but when you start to get up into 2.5 and 10 gigabit switching, there's really not a lot of options there yet. Another thing is limited firewall options. So like I said, you can go with a router like this, and I think they have maybe one other option, but that's kind of it. If you are a fancy rack mount system boy, then uh, you're not going to get a giant uh, gateway or firewall. You're going to get something like this. You're not going to have built-in storage. And that brings me to my next point is that if you want to implement some type of security system, and I know this is a direct comparison to Unify where they have their protect lineup and you can tie everything back into your gateway or your router and record it directly to there. And it's all plays nicely with each other and everything. They don't really have that in the Omada lineup yet, or at least that I know of. So if you're watching this video sometime in the future and Omada's implemented some type of Unify Protect competitor, then disregard this. But uh, if you're looking for a full home network and security system in one, uh, you're not gonna get that with Omada. Now those cons may or may not be cons to you, but they're things that I at least have to mention. So overall, I do think Omada is an amazing product lineup and something that I recommend to nearly everybody who is looking to upgrade their home network into something a little bit more sophisticated. And that probably has you wondering, why am I running Unify then? Well, there's two real reasons. One is that I've run Omada before. I've deployed it a bunch and I like it, yes, but as a tech YouTuber, as somebody who makes videos like this, I have to have hands-on experience with a lot of different products. So the only way I can really do that is to use it myself. So I did want to jump in the Unify ecosystem to try it out and see what it's all about because before this, I would never even laid hands on any Unify hardware. So yeah, that's one reason. And another is that, like I mentioned before, when it comes to high level switching, I don't think Omada is there yet. I believe Unify has a much more robust hardware selection when it comes to higher end switching at the 2.5 gig plus range. So that's another reason I went with it because I like to have at least 2.5 running to a lot of my servers and hardware. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of the real reasons. I'm not going to BS you or sugarcoat it. Uh, I still think Omada is a great product. And just because I'm using something else doesn't mean its competitor is bad at all. And just because I'm using a product doesn't mean 
it's not the best product for a majority of people. I'm not a majority of people, trust me. So that is my walkthrough on the Omada short stack. And let me be clear that TP-Link did send these products over for me to review. However, they did not sponsor this video. They did not tell me what to say. They did not pay me. So everything I say is 100% genuine. I'm never gonna get up here and BS you guys or try to fluff products up that I haven't personally used or endorse. And unless it's a sponsored video, the words that are coming out of my mouth are going to be 100% my own. So take that for what you will. I know it's a slippery slope. Some people say, oh, you got products sent to you. That means you're a shill. It's like, you know how many ridiculous products that people try to send me and I turn down because either they're dumb or I've used them before and I don't like them. So I do think these are high quality products. And if you wanna see how I go about setting these up in terms of the software, make sure you subscribe because my next video I have coming out, we'll be diving into how to configure these and get the most out of your sub 400, sub $300 Omada setup. So make sure you're around for when that video drops. But if you like this video, if you like this kind of content, drop a like below. And if you like content like this at all and you want to see more of my pretty face, then please consider subscribing. It helps out a ton. And I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my Omada home networking setup. I really appreciate you guys. I really do. It means a lot. But if you're still watching, if you've stuck around through this entire video, that's awesome. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one.